For FFF, the printed part is made by extruding a small amount of molten thermal plastic polymer from a hot nozzle to form each layer. Due to this unique layer fabrication concept, the deposit material line is fused by the residual heat of the material and the pressure of the moving nozzle. For high-speed printing, the filament is rapidly fed into the heat block at a speed of about 10 to 20 mm per second, and the polymer has very little time to melt from solid to molten state. Heat transfer needs time for the polymer to have sufficient flowability, meaning they can flow out of the nozzle smoothly and constantly. If the printing speed is too high, the extruded material line is more like a semi-molten state with a hot shell and a cold core. For example, for PLA printing at 220 degrees Celsius, the core may drop down to 180 degrees Celsius or even lower, which can cause nozzle clogging and poor bonding quality between layers, which is also known as poor Z-direction performance. Increasing extruding temperature only helps melting a little bit and the high extrusion temperature will easily ruin the sharp details of the printed part due to the longer cooling process. The hyperspeed line filaments are designed to solve this issue. With optimized and balanced molecular weight, hyperspeed ABS and PLA has higher flowability and lower heat capacity. We are able to achieve faster melting in the hot end and faster cooling after the material extruded. As a result, the surface quality of parts printed by hyperspeed filament is smooth and most of the sharp details are kept. Most importantly, with optimized molecular weight, both hyperspeed ABS and PLA show excellent interlayer bonding quality and Z direction strengths. Let's take hyperspeed PLA for example. As seen from the diagram, comparing to premium PLA, even though the hyperspeed PLA is printed four times faster, it improves the Z direction strength by 20% and doubles the Z direction toughness, while still keeps a similar E modulus strength in X and Y direction. 